What I will do is I will show you two different methods to graph. Okay. So if you guys can remember, there's two different types that we talked about graphing when we have an x and a y on the same side. You guys might want to remember. You might want to write it down again if you're uh, forgetting it. Remember, we have an x and y on the same side. We can do it two different ways. One method is called the x and y intercept method, where you say x equals zero and then y equals zero. So in x equals zero, let's do the first problem this way. So I'd say three times zero plus y equals negative three. And then I'd say three x plus zero equals negative three. So all I do for the x and y intercept method is I plug zero in for x and solve for y. And then I plug zero in for y and solve for x. That's it. So once I do that, it becomes pretty simple because guess what? y equals negative 3, and here I get 3x equals negative 1, divide by 3, x equals a negative 1 third. Okay? So what do those two points mean? You've got to give me like that look. Well, if I was to graph this, remember by putting 0 in for x, what I did was I determined what the intercepts are, where the graph crosses the axis. So x equals 0 is what we call the y-intercept. So at the y-intercept, what you guys can notice is y, our graph crosses the y-intercept when y equals negative 3. So I go down to negative 3. 1, 2, 3. And now what I notice is the x-intercept is at a negative 1 third. So I go over. Well, it's not all the way over 1, but it's going to be at a negative 1 third. So it's going to look something like that. Okay? Now, let's graph the other line. But I want to show you, to graph this other line, I want to show you the other method. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's really helpful to use the x and y intercept method. I like to do it, um, especially when I have a number in front of my x and in front of my y. However, Jonathan, when my y is by itself, I think it's actually easier just to solve for y equals mx plus b. What I mean is, I, why don't we just put it in slope-intercept form? So to do that, you have to get the y by itself. So subtract a 3x. And a lot of you get stuck because you write this. You write y equals 3 minus 3x, right? Well, guys, that's not in y equals mx plus b form. And I've told you from the start, when we started doing literal equations, to get used to the habit, Jessica, of putting your variables in front of your numbers. So you say y equals a negative 3x plus 3. Now, what you guys notice is it's in the exact same. Um, now you can see that uh, it's in mx plus b form. OK. So now what I'm going to do is I need to graph this. So remember, we go up 3, 1, 2, 3. And then my slope tells me to go down three units to the right one. Down three units to the right one. I didn't really graph this correctly on my thing, but my graphing really isn't all the best. How cool. But what you guys can notice is, is there a distinct point where these two graphs intersect? No. No. I, what is solve? I said solve by system, right? Solving is where they intersect, right? So if there's no intersection, do you think there's an answer? No. no. So you're right. So what we'd say for this problem would be no solution. That means there's no solution to the problem. They don't intersect anywhere. They're what we call parallel lines. Parallel lines. Exactly. Uh, uh, black, 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 black.